So we reach the business end of the competition. No second chances, no margin for error. So it's away we go then. Tevez. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates, good shoots! They've scored! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Argentina take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. I think they've gone about their business with the opener very much in mind, and this all goes well now. Deftly done. Goalkeeper's ball. Just brushed off the ball there. That is Tita. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Battles to win it back. Oh, good interception. Gets it upfield. Forward it goes. Hit long and direct. And some are shouting for a corner, but the referee says goal kick. Messi over to the left. Whipped in. And it's Ilicic. Ilicic goes long. Ilicic. Surely. Decent clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? Keeper's got good distance on that. And the half-time whistle goes. Well, there we are. Off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Argentina, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. And we're already back underway here. Argentina going well here and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Aimed low and direct. Josip Ilicic. And back to base. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Good offside that time. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. And a header! And the finish! Oh, and that should have been two. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game then. That's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart. And Has a shot! I think it's... The shot's on! That was venomous.
Argentina have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most... He's gone for it! Back of the net! And surely now, the result's beyond doubt. Argentina are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Argentina could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. And that will be the final act. Victory in round one. Still plenty to do, but the job is started. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? They're shaping fairly menacingly. There's an air of confidence and belief growing that'll take a bit of stopping. Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. The teams then, Argentina against Germany. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium. I've been hit by it too. A moment for pride and reflection as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. National anthem of Argentina rings out. for this game. So off we go then. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? I would say the very classy Marco Royce. Uh, he's a player who continues to highlight a, a real strength in German football with his irrepressible desire to get himself into the box. And he's become a top goal scorer as well. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two.
Rodriguez. Tevez. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Looks like... Has a pop! It's there! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt. And here we are, early stages. He struck one and he looks hungry for more. Jim, your thoughts? It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserved it. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. And it's messy. And the flag has stayed down. Shakes the shoots! Ah, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Dinks one in. The shot's on! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. to react to the initial save and he has his reward look that's one of the first things you learn whether you're a striker or not just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage and sometimes you'll get lucky it'll come your way Argentina grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Gomez tried to play it through. Mario Gomez encouraged the pass with an intelligent run, but the pass just lacked pace. Steered out wide. And he heaves it forward. Goretzka. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Forward it goes. And the first 45 minutes are up. It's the first half compared with your expectation. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Argentina in control at half time, 2 0. The action has already resumed here. And a header! Looks to slip it through. on the touchline a change about to occur they're actually not getting too tight which is interesting no it's probably cautionary uh, don't dive in try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind gets his foot in there how about it Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. He's had a shot! They are rampant! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Peter, I can tell you, that was nothing short of a cold-blooded execution.
So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Argentina take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Now the puck, he's had a goal! Back of the net! Yet another goal in an awesome performance! They are in complete charge! Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Oh, that's excellent composure because the keeper put as much pressure on as he could by not committing sooner. He snaffles his third and that earns him the match ball. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display. What a player. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Well, he's got himself a goal, and now he gets himself an ovation on the way off. Look, you can only give your own, and he's delivered in that regard, and I think... That is Stuta! It's there! And again, they pile on the misery. Listen, when you're on an invitation to improve your goal difference, why he's off? Argentina totally rampant here. Aimed long and direct. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. And it's a corner. Towering header! And in it goes! Well, just another one to add to what has already been an incredible haul. By the looks of it, there may be still more to come. Four in the game. He is the man. <laughs> Jerome Boateng. Oh, the ball's come loose. <laughs> Well, surely that completes the demolition if it hadn't occurred already. It's part of the game, Peter. It has to get ruthless. Sympathy just doesn't play a part. How many more does he want? Final whistle. 